Hello bookworms, it's Jessica with the old school book tag created by Christine at Secrets Read. I will leave a link down for her channel and the prompts in the description box below. Currently she's at 960 subscribers. So I recommend you go check her out. She has some great content. Let's get her to 1000. I had wanted to do this tag because I'm stuck in the 80s. Reading Rainbow, what book, author, or series got you into reading? For the 20 millionth time on my channel, I will mention Essie Hinton. When I first picked up The Outsiders, it got me hooked on reading. What author or book got you into your current favorite genre? Last summer, independent author Joshua Hershey sent me a copy of his fantasy novel, Linden Falls. I was skeptical at first because I never read fantasy, but once I picked up that book, fantasy became my new favorite genre. Mixtape. What was the first concert you ever went to? On Thursday, April 21st, 1988, I went to see David Lee Roth with Poison at the Nassau Coliseum. At the time, I was really into David Lee Roth's music. Both he and Poison put on a great show. What band or artist do you love but never got to see live? Back in the 80s, I had loved New Kids on the Block, just like every other girl. Some of their tunes, like You Got the Right Stuff, uh, were really catchy, but I never saw them live. I always feel like somebody's watching me. What was your favorite cartoon growing up? I loved Scooby-Doo. I thought he was so cute. I also liked Jen. Name a TV show or movie that is tied to a good memory. I loved Mama's Family when I was growing up. Vicki Lawrence played Velma Harper. I remember on Thursday nights when the show aired on NBC, I would sit in front of my TV and it would have me laughing. One of my favorite episodes was The Flaming Forties where Thelma Harper's grandkids had to raise money for a gym because they had to redo the gym. So they hired this punk rock band and the band uh, gets arrested. So Velma Harper, her, her uh, daughter-in-law Naomi, and Anne Fran had to go on stage and perform a song from the 1940s. That episode really had me laughing hysterical. Name a movie from childhood that you still love today. In 1986, I loved uh, seeing Ferris Bueller's Day Off when it was in the movie theater. I was cracking up so hard. I think people around me that were sitting right next to me uh, thought I was crazy. <laughs> Name your first TV or movie crush. I had a crush on John Stamos when he was on Full House. Gotta catch them all. What was a toy you were obsessed with or collected as a kid? I remember collecting Cabbage Patch dolls. They were all the rage and back in the day, and I thought they were very adorable. Pac-Man Fever. Name a board game or a video game you associate with your childhood. My favorite board games back in the day were Sorry and Scrabble. My favorite video game was Pac-Man and I played it on the Atari. She's got the look. Name a clothing or a trend that was popular when you were a kid. The most ridiculous uh, clothing trend that, uh, that, was a pop that was popular back in my day was shoulder pads because they had them in like dresses and other things and I thought it was very tacky. 
I want candy. Name a childhood snack or candy you wish they still made. As a child, I love M&M's and they still make it to this day. I also liked fruit roll-ups. I would like to tag some people. I'm going to tag Sue Jackson, Alan at Big Heart Books and Classics, Tad, Tad Talks Books and Stuff, and Melinda at a web of stories. And if you aren't tagged, but would love to do the tag, jump in and do it. So thank you all for watching. Until my next upload, bye bookworms.